January of 2010, my uh, wife, Heather Gladback, was diagnosed with breast cancer. She lived for six and a half years. We had some wonderful times of really positive, good family moments. The first two years of that were just riddled with financial catastrophe. And the more I kind of denied that, the deeper and deeper we went into kind of financial ruin. Unfortunately, uh, this is the reality for many of the patients that we help and their families. Uh, there's, you know, the first thing you think about when you're diagnosed with cancer, I remember my dad talking about this is, um, am I gonna live? You know, that's your first, um, the first thing you think of. And then quickly you think about the expense and how it's gonna impact your family and the long-term plan that you have. The financial toxicity really comes into play with, I have cancer, but what's my insurance gonna cover it? What am I gonna be responsible for? What does that look like for my family? This is so prevalent that there was a term uh, coined by the National Cancer Institute uh, called cancer-related financial toxicity. And we found that 73% of all cancer patients go through some form of financial toxicity. There's comfort in financial security. You need to have someone who has that financial planning background um, and the certification to do that. So we're not choosing health over money or money over health. At Angel Foundation, we are innovative and we want to help with the solution. There are sick people and their families counting on us that really need the help. The Financial Cancer Care Program will be the first of its kind in the Twin Cities, and we're very proud to bring this to families that need it. It allows us to have conversations. It allows the patients to have options. As you guys continue to do more and more for families with cancer and to support not just the patient, but really the unit around the patient, which makes supporting the patient that much more possible. It literally is that hard that you need a third person. You need somebody that this is their job and that's what they do. As we began planning for a solution, uh, we came to the quick realization that we're not financial experts, um, but we also realized that we don't need to be. We'll partner with organizations that have that skill and that can really help us. Uh, we view our role in developing this program as being the convener um, to help cancer patients. We had the vision and are starting to see it come to realization. A program that is truly meeting the need of the patient. We started the foundation as a patient-centered organization and we continue in that fashion. To me, to know that they're moving on their mission into this financial cancer care really means a lot because my experience is over. I'm, I'm, I'm rebuilding, but I don't want the next spouse that loses their, their loved one to have to start back over from nothing. We are very grateful for the partners and the community that is stepping forward to support this program, and we know it will have a profound impact.